What's up, y'all? It's your boy, eBay Fight Predictions, in the building. And we got some breaking, breaking, breaking news. And this is pretty dope, in my humble opinion. Uh, but let's get to it. Israel Adesanya will be fighting Jan Blachowicz for the light heavyweight title on UFC 259 on March 16. This is pre-Eugene Behrman, Adesanya's coach. Um, which is dope, man. Uh, it's a great fight. But since I'm kind of late on this, uh, I'll... I guess I'll give you guys an early prediction and who I'm going with. But um, besides that, let's talk about the announcement. Um, it, it's an awesome, awesome fight. I think it's really great. Um, uh, booking by the UFC. I get it. You know, Adesanya is their superstar. Uh, Blahovich is a guy that they probably didn't expect to become champion, even though it, you know, it's a fight. Him and Dominic Reyes, you know, them fighting. Either one of them could have won. So I don't think that they. Oh, like I don't think they really thought Dom was gonna 100% beat him. I thought it was more like 60 or maybe 50-50. You never know how they're thinking, but um, I don't think they value as Jan as this long-term champion. He's 37 years old, so I I think they see him right now as a stepping stone for anybody, um, and just for somebody to you know make their name off uh off of him and uh, basically they think you know that his career is set and you know we can you know start making some money, um. Izzy versus Jan isn't necessarily a great fight in terms of like, you know, casual casual fans really like you know, coming towards it. But it's the implications of the fight. You know, like Izzy's a big name. Jan isn't yet, but um, I think people are gonna be like, oh, Izzy's going up to two hundred five. You know, the John Jones thing. People can just speculate and and play that fantasy game. And I think that's what they're kind of playing at, and that's how they're gonna promote this. Is this is Izzy's step towards light heavyweight. And his next step will be, you know, John Jones or whatever, you know. And it's interesting that they're playing this game right now. And um, and I think they really do want to make that fight. And as he did say, I think, uh, what, 2021 or whatever, him and John in Raider Stadium. And I think John will be fighting Stipe Miocic uh, after Stipe fights uh, Francis. And I honestly believe I think Stipe will beat Francis. You know, it's just as much as I love Francis, I think he'll beat him uh, again. But, you know. I think both guys will be fighting, um, you know, the heavier weight class champion uh, and John fighting Stipe and Izzy fighting Jan Blahovich. But I think that's where it all ends. I honestly believe that. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think Jan Blahovich will knock out Israel Adesanya or submit him, either of those two. Um, and I honestly do believe that Stipe will humble John Jones. I think this will be a humbling season for both of these idiot, tall, dark-skinned cones you know, um, you know, one's a crackhead and the other one's a goddamn anime nerd. And I, I just, I don't, I have nothing against their skills. You know, obviously, I, I, I probably dislike Adesanya a little more than John, but John's a piece of garbage too. So, you know, I, I, I got nothing against them. But they're skilled. They're, they're really skilled. Uh, but you know, to go more to the Izzy side, uh, this matchup, I think Jan Blahovich is really underrated in certain areas. He's underrated in his grappling. Uh, I would, you know, implore guys to go watch this fight with Nikita Krylov. Krylov is a good grappler. We've seen what he was able to do to Johnny Walker and Ovin St. Prue, you know, first submitting Ovin St. Prue and putting a dominant grappling class against uh, Walker. And Blahovich was able to submit this guy. And then, but I feel like everyone's uh, aware of his defensive abilities with the grappling. We saw it in the Luke Rockhold fight. Luke Rockhold's a legitimate, I mean, he's a great grappler. He doesn't have the greatest takedowns, I'd say, but he, he you know, he's strong and he he was yoked for that fight. Jock Ray Souza, another one, an awesome grappler who put you know he couldn't take Blahovich down. Obviously these guys are uh, middleweights, but you know what he's able to show then. I think um, Blahovich, he will wrestle. He's bigger, um, you know he's stronger. I think I think in certain areas, I think size will have to play a factor. Obviously skill is skill. I think Adesanya will have a, a real distinct speed advantage. But if you know. If Blahovich can use his strength the right way, like using his strength for punches isn't going to work, but strength in the clinch, you know, what he was able to do with, um, you know, Dominic Reyes in close situations in the pocket, encountering, he was strong there. Yeah, has uh, Blahovich been knocked out? Yes, the Tiago Santos one, him just rushing forward. But I honestly believe if Blahovich just puts on a legitimate pace, uh, uses his jab to come forward because he does have the, the shorter reach, uh, you know, Adesanya has, you know, is, you know, really long and uh, uses his feint. So really what he's going to have to do is, you know, go forward, use his, you know, use his jab to get, uh, to come close, you know, um, 
you know, jump with a hook and I think go for takedowns. Honestly, I really do think if he can just put a forward pressure. Uh, the, the blueprint to have a good fight with Adesanya is Kelvin Gaslam. Is there as possible? Adesanya, I don't care. You know, I know some people say, oh, Everson, give up. You know, Adesanya's on drugs. I don't I don't care. I don't think he's on drugs. And I, I, for me, I'm, I'm not no fucking scientist. I'm not USADA. So that doesn't play a factor. Unless they say he's on drugs, then it is what it is. All I know is this guy's human. He's beatable, all right? We've seen it happen, and there's a way to beat him. And also, another thing, Lovitz just has to keep a high guard. You know, that's really, that's another thing he has to do. And he usually does keep a pretty good guard, but I think if you look at some of his kickboxing fights and how he lost in those kickboxing fights, obviously they had 12-ounce uh, gloves and stuff like that. And, you know, in the UFC they have 4-ounce gloves, but still. You know, even, it might not have been 12, it might be 10. I'm not sure what the, the ounces of the gloves are, but, uh, you know, the gloves allows them to make that guard and kind of just run through his punches. If somebody could kind of have like a similar game plan but add takedowns and just go forward and keep a high guard, I think some, he can beat them. Like uh, takedown feints. You know, he, he got... The reason why Kelvin was so successful in that fight against Adesanya were the takedown feints because Kelvin does have a wrestling background, you know? So I think... I think Blahovich... I think Blahovich will knock him down in the second and... Uh, Submit him. I think he submits him. I really do. I think he's going to humble this guy, man. You know, it's it's time. You should have fought Robert Whitaker in a rematch. Robert deserves it, but it is what it is. I think he's going to get sent back to middleweight. And uh, he'll, he'll keep his championship, but uh, I think this will be a humbling, humbling season for Adesanya. Uh, and, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, you already know me. Uh, biggest Adesanya hater on YouTube. Uh, but it is what it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow me on uh, on Instagram. Go follow me on Twitter. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you're watching this. Uh, click the notification button. Uh, like, comment, or whatever. Uh, share if you can. It would be an awesome help to this channel. And let's keep that eBay Fight Predictions Nation growing. See y'all and goodbye. Love y'all.